What's up guys, this is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Rome Remastered Total War Let's Play as the Brutii. So to remind you, remind you what happened last time, uh, I think I've got generally quite a bad force composition when it comes to fighting the Greeks, or really any phalanx based army that has a significant amount of good phalanx troops. I think I've got a bit of uh, Empire Rome bleed through the brain. And I'm continuing to use infantry heavy armies, which just aren't really the case. Aren't, aren't really the best thing to use out here. Probably best to go down the, uh, the cavalry route. But I am actually inclined, I think, to go pick up one of my... Actually, my diplomats are all in Germany and Thrace. To try and pick up a diplomat here and a merchant. And once I've taken Tarsus, to probably try and broker a peace with the Greeks. And then instead focus my expansion towards the Thracians, Tillis and Byzantium. It's probably the better idea, I think. At least until the uh, Marian reforms kick in. And I can get better troops to compensate for my lack of skill in this game. Um, okay, so Tarentum, you're growing handsomely. Let's get a dockyard to improve trade. Larissa. Your population is growing well. Let's probably get a forum. Because it'll help reduce cultural penalties. Athens, you could probably stand to get sewers. You don't really need the pop growth, but you're a large city and you don't even have basic sewers. Sparta to the south can get... Pop growth's fine. 2% Two, is quite stable. By Lazora to the north, you can also get sewers. Pergamum. I mean, urban barracks are very tempting, but I can't make use of them yet. So it's, I'm tempted to go for mines instead. Especially if I'm just going to take Tarsus and then hold my flank. But one thing I do want to do is go to my agents list. Because I've now got a bunch of assassins. So who can I get you to cool? <laughs> Sextius of Rome. Take him out. I'm not going to have any silly merchants in my lands stealing my stuff. Not merchants. Assassin. It's Flavius. Galerius. Oh, he's more... To you. Titus of Arusium. Take him out. <laughs> Good. Nero Tribuanus. No one immediately within range. I could try and sabotage some buildings. Ooh, kill Governor. That's it. That's in. I presume it's in Tillis. It is in Tillis. Yeah, you may as well have a go. I imagine he didn't get him. Yeah, so we've got two good kills on merchants, a failure. Suitable hus husband. Nias Miller. Mella. Yes, we'll take them into our service. Carry on with our assassin games. Spurious Valius. So Spurious. You can try and knock out Raskos of Byzantium. Don't go after the faction leader. Good. Start to clear out some of these enemy merchants. Let's also go back to my my my. Yes. So my guy that's in Rhodes. You could do with deploying out to sea. And to be honest, you could probably do with more ships out here. Because I don't, I've not really got the navy back here that I normally have. So in terms of merchants, so Rhodes have sorted out Julianus of Louvavon. Probably try and secure something a little closer to home. 
Try and secure that glass if you want from the Julii. Merchant, merchant, merchant. Can I be of service? Such and such of Bylazora. You can take the gold back. And the merchant. Nero of Corinth. Take up this silver. Good. Silly Thracians. Don't worry, we will take them out. And then let's sink that fleet. Retrain the ships. Anchor is getting over us. We've built everything we can build. Ah, oh, yes, our marriage. Okay, we don't need another guy in Tarentum waiting to cover the cover the inevitable gap in our faction leader coverage. Let's probably get him over to Thessalonica to hold the garrison while this force pushes east. And this Bilazoran army may end up moving east to hit, hit Tillis while we recruit a garrison here. It's probably not a bad idea. Take Tarsus in three turns, which we are likely to do. So let's hit N10. See if Spain can take hold of Parma. I mean, they've got enough men. You'd think they would be able to capture the small island, but there we are. Ooh. Looks like the Greeks are trying to surround us. So who's this? One of their faction leaders. Too bad we don't have any. Well, we have a governor on roads, but that's it. We have no other family members not even leading our front arm our uh, leading armies a worthy life ends Decius Mummius a diplomat up near Thrace our assassins are doing great <laughs> as long as there's no Egypt and Parthia at ceasefire that's not too big of a deal for us I mean, this fight's probably going to be an auto because there's it's two armored hoplites and we've got all of that, so we may as well. I didn't check what kind of city Tarsus was. Let's enslave. Should probably have exterminated. Retrain the troops. Knock down. This temple, build a new one, repair the walls. We may be ejected from this territory. Okay, so it's back here. You're a bit far. Oh, I'm not. Hightail it over to Greek territory to try and negotiate a ceasefire. So, no, mission successful. I've got another stack of big ships. Oh, I can't combine these uh, these navies together, so these, this navy may as well sail over to Kydonia. Okay, lots of good construction going on. Suggestica. Get a legion barracks. Salona. Get highways. Thessalonica. You can get a new temple. Ankara, you can get the next level temple as well. And Tarsus does not like us, but that's not entirely surprising. We can try and help them with a low tax rate while also... Okay, if I disband that unit of Velites, I can recruit a town watch unit to also act as a garrison. So I'm fairly sure that's the last Greek settlement in the Med we have to worry about. So let's bring this guy up to the north. Probably hit N10, chiefly, chiefly because we've got not a lot else to do at the moment. Byzantium is rebelling. 
It would be nice if they rebelled and... Oh, look, 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 Julia! Stop. Stop getting rid of my merchants. God, merchants... They're the most frustrating component of this game, I think, so far, because I don't... They're useful. Uh, my little fleet that deployed my merchant... Got attacked. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get. Ooh, 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 you guys can't see my announcements, but I just got achievement unlocked. Rock me, Marius. Coming of age, Tertius. Let's just go to the merchant. My love of a merchant's been destroyed, been uh, bought out, which means we'll need a new one. But do you notice what we've got? The new man, Gaius Marius. Gaius Marius has proposed a series of laws that allow the pro proletariat to, re to join his reorganised Roman army. This is exactly what we wanted to see, and it kind of moves up the need to upgrade or to build our barracks up. Because you can see, we can now only build, for certain territories, light auxilia, which is not great. You'll want legion barracks to earn to recruit early legionary cohort. But as we do that, I want to start to filter out my armies to remove those those uh, quality of troops. You guys try and intercept. Oh, don't want to mess around with that. Let's get you into Port and Pergamum. We train. Assassination Amhors. Jesus. So they want me to assassinate likely some Egyptian nobleman. No. No, Senate. I think not. Through glass, Tertius has got Tertius has got married, but I think the important thing is Tertius is one of our. Yes, Tertius, sixteen, sixteen-year-old son of Titus Brutus. He is now our new factionaire, not this guy. That's crazy, Tertius. So where is your man, Tertius? I think he was up here somewhere, wasn't he? He's the governor immediately. <laughs> um, okay, well Tertius is going to hightail it down to Bilozora to lead that force against Thrace. So you have one command star, three influence, one. Is that management? This guy's just not as good in general. So let's take all of you guys less our town watch leave the city oh, they, they're not happy Let's probably leave our onagers back there still doesn't help okay Larissa let's move your principe garrison up and I'll compensate you with some men Probably send these guys north to Thessalonica as well. Same with you guys. Same with you guys. Assassin ready. My assassins want to push up to start to take out these scoundrels. As you I'm not gonna yeah, I'm not gonna assassinate that guy. Okay, buildings, Apollonia. Get your legion barracks. Everyone start building a barracks as soon as possible. Thermon has already got their upgraded barracks. They're probably just going to get a awesome temple of Juno. Athens can get a large temple. Corinth can get a large temple. Cydonia. Barracks isn't quite critical yet. Thessalonica, yeah, they're unhappy with me, we know. Bylazora. Uh, probably go for... Archery Rangers because you're at the front lines. Rose can get a Pro Consul's Palace. Harlequinassus can get Sewers. Lovavum. Legion Barracks. Walls. Archery Range. Sardis. You can go for probably Pay of Roads. Pergamum. So now I can get my Urban Barracks, Praetorian Cohort, and Urban Cohort. 
Let's get a few quality of life upgrades. Tarsus, get a, get a fort and get some walls. Keep my diplomat wherever he's at. On the high road to Greece. Early legionary cohort. So you can see compared to... Actually I can do it from here. With these princi principes. Principes. Morale 6. Melee attack 10. Missile attack 14. Suppose you want to look at defense skill. We want to get everything, I suppose. Early Legion Cohort are actually a bit of a step back in terms of armor and total defense. Their morale goes up. Their charge goes up. Although I suppose these are Prince Pays, these do have armor and attack upgrades, so that it's kind of biased. But in general, they're the lads you want. So let's start to filter out. Also, they're bigger units, I think, aren't they? Oh no, maybe not. Let's start to filter those guys into the army. Also, Roman cavalry. They're also what you want to see. Because compared to an equite, a lot more morale, more defense, more armor. Melee attack 6 on Roman cavalry. 8 on equites. Alt attack, I suppose, probably means that we might get a. So maybe I could. On the, maybe like Lance is on the charge, maybe something like that is going on. Maybe. Maybe something like that. Let's keep you nearby Thessalonica just in case. You're a merchant, so not really bothered. Let's hit in turn. Let's take the water thrace with a name to upgrade. Yes, I'm going to take you on. You're exactly who I was after. You silly Billy. So we could push on and try and take Antioch, but I'm okay with taking Tarsus and fortifying it as a forward base. Can I be of service? So can I get within range. I will address them at once. Next turn. Sir. Let's pull Town Watch out. Sir. Put the legionary cohort in. Sir. To be honest, if we just Sir. do that. <laughs> Back you fellas go. Just do that. Just to knock him out. <laughs> and then we can get back in. Can't repair, can't uh, replenish up anything because we've not got the pop. Yes. He goes over to Antioch. Everyone's on the move. City expands. Sparta. Pro Consoles Palace for you. Croton. Let's upgrade the barracks. Can you just start looking at the end game which is getting towards the or sieging the cities of Rome which I tend to have a certain strategy for I used to do it in Rome 1 I would spread um, I would spread ranks and ranks and ranks of camps all around all of the cities then pretty much issue order 66 and take all the main cities that would be my plan but Thessalonica's got over their issues you Tertius hightail it by Lazora where we will probably start picking up a god Praetorian cohort oh, so many good troops Legionary cohort, Praetorian cohort. So how much do you take? Two turns. Okay, let's get some Praetorians up. Actually, if I get one... Actually, if I get... So Tessalonica, you've already got a lot of troops moving up anyway. 
you focus on churning out some Praetorians, Bylazora, focus on churning out Roman cavalry. So I want to I want to have a sprinkling of some especially as this unit has this army has no cavalry, oh my god. I definitely want to start sprinkling in some of those elite troops. Larissa, can you do Yes. After well, I don't want to I don't want to go mad on the Praetorians. I want to have some legionary cohort also in my list still not assassinating that guy good stuff it's hidden turn disregard all of you take him out looks like the egyptians are after him as well okay i'm not going to move because i don't want to fight egypt Our assassin is pushing up right towards rich merchant hunting territory. I think it's a good decision to go push and take, take out Thrace, especially while we are upgrading our forces in, uh, in Turkey to push east towards Egypt. So. What I also want to probably experiment with is Pergamum. Let's get two units of Praetorians out before you upgrade to your Urbans. Sardis, let's start to recruit some Roman cavalry. I want to start pushing men up to the front. You also recruit urgent early legionaries. Construction turb. Tarantum. They're going to pop fairly soon. Hippodrome would also be nice to get some heavy legionary cavalry out to the front. Alakanassus, get the stables. Okay. Roman cavalry. Okay, that's a bit of a funky. There we go. Can you also push in. You're recruiting legionaries. You attack a rebel fleet. You sunk the ships. We train. Got some good stuff here, but I'm not going to worry about it just yet. The main focus is trying to get it out to the armies at the front. Let's pick up some more legionary infantry in Athens. Probably push up another unit of town watch across the board down here as well, because they all look a bit unhappy. Oh, I didn't meant to look at the uh, where the end, uh, where the life ends, but whatever. Be quick, our patience is limited. Cease fire and trade. Regretfully, we must decline. Very well, then I will continue to destroy you. So you have chosen death. There. Ah. Hey, they've hit my guy outside the city. <gasps> and it's a bunch of hoplites! Run away! I have not got to build walls yet. That's not fair. You can't go attacking me with your men. Very well. Let us dispatch scouts to find the next target so I don't know this part of the map super well a suitable husband Marcellius Valerius yes did that say Salona god damn that's some, that's some generals over here it's been Galerius Helvius over here as well Still not going to kill that guy. 
war declared between Brut the Scipii and Britannia. Lots of good stuff. <gasps> Praetorians! Praetorians! Uh, where's the cavalry in this one? I've already moved you, haven't I? Have I? Definitely. Oh no, it's outside. I was going to say, I'm sure it's there to be picked up. Let's hit N10. Get rid of all those guys. Good. Oh, I didn't do my building browser thing. Nuts. See if they lay siege to the city of Thermon. I mean, they're going to. They want to chase after these guys, but they're just going to run. They're going to still go after him. Well, let's see how well Captain Julianus takes on the Hoplites. Only 186 kills. Hey, and you're not even dead. <laughs> uh, ooh. But this one does bring in the reinforcements from the town. Okay, good. So it's the cross for not making it controlled by the AI. Okay. Let's do it. So, in an army that I already know I've not got enough cavalry in, <laughs> uh, this could probably, this could well be a, uh, the same result as the last time. Reinforcements have arrived, but are they in time to take part in the battle? So... Principles, Astarte. Form your line. Velites, form your line. Archers, form your line. A good amount of cavalry. These guys are damn near useless. So my front rank. Fire at will active. Push these units up the flanks because it looks like they're going to make. leave this unit a bit exposed. Lots of stuff going everywhere. It's already not going. Quite to this plan, I would like. You guys get away. No, they didn't run away. Sword, what? But live another day. He is running away. Okay. Good, they've routed call this cavalry through the gap and into that unit of armored hoplites. You go that way, so these guys can come in. You try... Pull my cavalry away. You guys come in. You come around the flank and hit them. 
general to fall on his sword than live another day. He is running away. Well, look, these guys are deciding to. So even when I alt, when I alt click, they don't charge in. Okay, they've broken. These guys aren't even engaging, which I mean is kind of good. Two of my units have broken, charging into the hoplites there. So you don't charge that combat either. Go back in again. Don't have any loose units of cavalry in about, do I? I keep giving you opportunities to come in and smash them. Come in and smash them. Lots of my infantry isn't entirely useful. It has the potential to be, but it likely won't be. So you need. Yeah, I know my generals probably. No, oh, these are all captains though. These aren't true generals. You guys run around the flanks to surround... Okay, you guys aren't going to surround that unit completely yourselves. I see you try and hit that unit of hoplites. You try and hit those hoplites. But they're steady even when they get charged in the rear. Some of these units are just Hella good. Those are men have broken. Now, this particular unit seems very resilient. Even when my finally, so you men skirmish to those guys. So we got two good units of infantry, chiefly because my men can't. See, in Rome 1, I'd be fairly happy with the idea of, okay, will one unit attack the... One unit attack the formation from the front, the other unit attacking from the rear, but... Try and make this unit route. See a rear charge from the cavalry and they're still eager even though they're massively depleted. No, I told you to pull back. Ah, damn. Hey, reinforcing cavalry. Okay, you're routing your... Okay, you're still here. All you guys come back. But yeah, like... Although, to be honest, I didn't notice that one quickly enough. So you men 
in which case you guys actually run away. Keep firing into the back of the hot plates, just don't let them have a a good chance to get charges off on you. Good, they've routed. Just keep running away, it seems like. Okay, this unit of 46. You've withstood many a trial and tribulation. Get out of there. Archers, rain hell on that unit, because they are fortunately... Oh, that unit routed as well. Hit the armoured hoplites oh, in the rear. Keep an eye on them because they've just picked up their pikes. Oh, that went badly. This is no way for a Roman to behave. <laughs> Shame will be his forever. Damn right. Your general runs away. But yeah, my men, they're just... They can't hold a... They can't even, seemingly even in the rear, against the hoplite units, it's still not a... Okay, that's the kind of thing I would expect to happen more than it currently has done. They broke on the charge, perfect. But then again, they are equites, they're light cavalry. It's kind of what they do. Oh, call off. Break off. They've turned around. Hey, they're withdrawing. Those men routed as soon as they even touched those men. Charge these guys in just to see what happens when you charge a withdrawing enemy. None of them die. That's what happens when you charge a withdrawing enemy. And you lose a bunch of your own cavalry. And they, they, they rout. <laughs> nice one. These guys aren't keen to withdraw. Well, I give you a lovely juicy cavalry unit. Will you turn around to try kill the juicy cavalry? What if the juicy cavalry decided to charge into you? How will that make you feel? guys I'm likely losing men to the oh, javelins I'm gonna go try to charge those guys into the pikes and then get away now oh, they routed you guys don't worry about hitting them anymore So how's my cavalry? <laughs> Everyone's breaking against that general's unit. 
Okay, where's my archers? They're down here. Okay, so these are the first look at the early legionary cohort. So they aren't perfect infantry. But they can get in formation. Oh, there we go. Hoplites have died. My archers are pouring fire into the hoplites, although they're withdrawing, so I'm probably happy to let them withdraw. Considering this battle was hella messy. And it kind of it showed to me I need better troops, and I definitely want better cavalry. It shows to me I don't want... Well, I want to start to get heavy cavalry deployed out to fight these phalanx units. Run away! <laughs> Run away. Because <laughs> they are very resolute. Bear in mind is there they are. The silver shield... So they're not terrible. Oh my, my cavalry there. My cavalry are very light. I'm gonna let them go. <laughs> That's probably the better call there. But yeah, I want to get some good, better infantry out there and some better cavalry. This is a heroic victory <laughs> worthy of oh, of a sorts, a heroic victory of sorts. It was a victory, I suppose, and they start, they decided to flee the field. But it wasn't as though it was a battle won on the uh, through through my skill. Let's just say that. And glory. I don't know what direction they've gone. I'm going to water is over this one. Hey, they've just put the city under siege. Those dummies. Especially with a small force like that. Well, to be fair, my force is pretty small. If I sallied them, do I get good odds? Very good odds. If I withdraw, though, it stays in there. Gah! Next big city. Okay. Deploy everyone out of Ankara. How does that make you feel? Minus 60. It's not bad. Pick up some militia. Push you guys up the coast. And the frame rate suddenly gone really bad. Okay, in which case, looking at the timer, I think I'm going to go in the episode there because I don't quite know why it suddenly got so. The frame rate's dropped. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time the continuing adventures of the Brutii. Cheers, everyone.